Hello guys, hope you're doing well. It's Kenji here and welcome to Life of Clay. And also welcome to all our new viewers out there. Today, I will be making a dragonfly known as Common Hawker, Eshna Janseya. And if you like my tutorials, please consider subscribing and clicking that bell icon so you will be notified for our future videos. So come on, bring the clay on and let's fly. Oops, I mean begin. I start by drawing a quick sketch and using a 1mm bronze wire for its armature. Using two parts epoxy, I adhere pieces of aluminum foil on the head, thorax, and abdomen to be able for the clay to resist my tools when I'm adding details. Wrap it with masking tape. And now let's start sculpting the abdomen. When we were kids, we call it the tail, but no, actually, it's his abdomen. Covering it with clay and follow the shape based on the reference. I use Isle Toe Polymer Clay for this one. And now adding those abdominal segments. Poking the tip of the abdomen for the cerci or the male clasper to be added later. And also adding its accessory male genitalia near the thorax. And after that, I did the first baking. And now let's proceed in sculpting the thorax. Cover it with clay and shape it again based on the reference. Adding those wings joint on his back. Adding details on its ventral Adding those shallow lines on its dorsal surface of his thorax And poking the area for the legs And do narrow cuts on the wings joint. And do the second baking. And now let's sculpt the head. Cover it with clay and shape it. Trim the excess and add details using silicone tip sculpting tools. Common Hawker Aishna Janseya, also known as Moorland Hawker or Sedge Darner, is one of the largest species of hawker dragonflies, native to Palearctic from Ireland to Japan and northern North America. The flight period is from June to early October. And to smooth out those details on his face, I cover it with plastic wrap and trace all the details. And after that, do the final baking. And now let's prepare the legs using a 0.8mm bronze wire, 
Dragonfly's legs are designed for catching, snatching, and perching its prey. So if you notice them, the hind legs are longer and getting shorter towards the front legs. These form a basket shape when they hold their prey during flight, ensuring no escapes. Drilling those poke holes for the legs, cersei, and deepening the cuts for the wings. I choose not to use clay for the legs, instead I wrap them with tissue paper brushed with glue. Set aside and let them dry. And now I'm adding UV resin on the legs to conceal all the creases of the paper and make them smooth. And do the curing. I use plastic bristles for the antennae and Cersei. And attach all the parts using clear epoxy. And for the painting process, I use pure black as primer. Wiping some areas with damp tissue paper to give room for the lighter color. And now, let's paint the head. I use series of paint mix for this, with the combination of aqua, titanium white, blue, black, yellow, and sap green. And next is the thorax, using the series of burnt shanna, black, brown, titanium white, aqua, yellow, blue, and sap green. Dragonflies belongs to class Insecta, order Odonata. It is 74 mm or 2.9 inches long, with brown body, male has black abdomen with paired blue and yellow spots on each abdominal segments, and narrow stripes along the dorsal surface of the thorax. Female common hawkers will sometimes dive out of the sky and play dead in order to avoid copulating with males. And lastly, the abdomen, with a series of paint mix including black, 
aqua, titanium white, blue, yellow, sap green, and burnt sienna. And finally, seal it with ultramatte varnish and satin on some parts, leaving the eyes uncoated. And now let's proceed in making the base. This will act as a simple diorama as well. I start by using copper wire, bend it, and cover it with aluminum foil. I insert pieces of wires to imitate small twigs, and this will add more natural appearance into it. I use air dry clay for this one, and I start with the base. Set aside to cure. And now let's sculpt the twig. Cover it with clay and applying my bark texture technique from my how to bark texture tutorial. Set aside to cure overnight. And let's paint the base. Again, I use different mix of paints for this. Using brown, black, sap green, yellow, and titanium white. And now sealing it with ultra matte varnish, leaving the top surface of the base uncoated. And to imitate the twig submerged in the water, I add UV resin into the base and also coating the eyes of the dragonfly and do the curing. After the resin is cured, I added more algae effect on top of the resin and brush them with gloss varnish. And finally, for the dragonfly wings, I use a powder printed wings on acetate film. This type of film are the one used in overhead projectors as well. And to avoid smudging the powder ink that sits on the surface of the film, I cover it with scotch tape and trim them. And again, using another type of clear film that used for documents, I add clear epoxy and adhere the individual wings on it. And when the epoxy dried, Trim them again but leaving the base of the wings with excess strips of film. This is what will be inserted to the dragonfly's back. And let's do the testing. And bend that excess strips of film to your desired angle for the wing. Seems like they are just fine. But I don't like the glossy appearance of the wings. It looks like just flat and unnatural. So I brush them with ultra matte varnish and as the matte varnish dried, I add dots of gloss varnish to imitate the reflection of light in every single membrane 
of the wing. And we can now put the wings back on. I didn't attach them permanently since I have to pack them for transport and to avoid damage. And that's it. The common hawker dragonfly is finally done. Hope you enjoy this tutorial guys and may you find again new techniques that you can also apply for your projects. Thank you so much everyone. Have a wonderful day.